And we are live. Greetings, Internet. Kunis here, and this is Sparta! Where we last left off, we were finally a king. Things were looking up. We're gonna try to find, to find ways to expand as uh, easily as possible without, you know, having to fragment our kingdom into several pieces upon succession. So let's continue doing uh, just that until our good friend Despot Christophoros of Sparta passes away. Over his reign, he went from a little nobody count to the king of Sparta, and that's actually really impressive. Uh, Bahani Ashari populace. I don't care about those people. Don't worry, my liege. I am on your side. You are also on my side. We are bros. We are buddies. As it should be. You have, like, decent stats. Pretty good learning, though. Learning is uh, kind of important for our cultural advances. Look at good culture. Currently, his fascination is... Uh, uh, is it this one? Yeah, he's fascinated by Cassus Belly. That'd be very useful for... Um, for example, re-obtaining re Boeotia. That'd be very nice. Um, we'll have to see how we go about things. Because um, I don't think I could beat this guy right now because he has too many allies. Um, although... I am allied to the King of France. Do I have a reason to attack this guy? Do Antonio's claim or Count Methodios' claim? That's uh, interesting. If I had picked this guy, for example... He is inferior, but on my own, I am way weaker than that, and that's actually making me very uneasy about declaring this war. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I believe my marshal is... Oops, council. My marshal is... No, not my marshal. My... Yeah, he's fabricating a claim in Chania, which is right here. I'm very interested in getting a chunk of island. That's gonna be a great boon for me. Uh, we just need that claim to finish, because I, last I checked, she's weak. She, oh, she's incredibly weak. She probably has, like, no support of anything. Who is this derp? The one ally who is insignificant. Incredibly insignificant. Wow, okay. Um, my spouse is 52. May she live long and prosper. Giving me the best alliance I can ask for here. King Louis II of West Francia. You know, if you call me, you get my help, right? Even if it's useless for me to go. What is this? Yeah, West Francia kind of like blew up in weird chunks. But that's okay. It's still fairly strong, all things considered. Um, I'm a little worried about this. I want to... Uh... I want this to stabilize, but at the same time not, because the more they infight, the better it is, but I just don't necessarily want Islam to win in Hispania, because we're currently kind of, like, surrounded. Although the Abbasids kind of... they kind of blew up. As long as that doesn't happen to us, we'll be fine. And I intend to be the best vassal liege... Uh, vassal to my liege, rather, possible. I will accumulate power, but remain extremely loyal until the day is right for me to stab him. Um, uh, my neighbor Duchess Sergia of Thessalonica, she's uh, amassing power, right? She's, uh, oh, she's 53. Who is your hair? You have two duchies. Oh, you're about to uh, fragment yourself. You're about to split up into smaller realms. I'm pretty sure they're already, yeah, they're already married. Of course they are. And you're not getting any more children, so this situation is not about to change. You're betrothed to some Ducas dude. That's gonna be slightly annoying though, because they'll have allies, but hey. We have swayed the Basilius, so now we can go sway something else. How's the vassals? How is this guy doing? He's actually pretty chill. I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna go sway him now. Because, you know, we fought each other for a while. He was always on the side of my former... Arch nemesis and former direct overlord. But now he's my vassal. How the tables have turned. Or how the turns have tabled or something. I'm never entirely sure how the meme goes. It's confusing. Anyway, uh, we're going to make him, you know, very happy about me being his new overlord. His new rightful liege. Because I want him to remain loyal. I don't want him to be too powerful. I hope his realm fragments a little. He has two duchies. He has a duchy of Thessaly. 
which is actually very interesting. But that's going to split because he has several sons. He has four sons, so all of these magnificent holdings are about to be split apart. Uh, Chrysophios is the second one. So his stuff is going to be split between his two vassals. And that's going to be uh, his two vassals, his two sons. And they're going to... I'm about to gain two vassals instead of just one. So that's going to be interesting. I'm okay with them being weak. I might actually... Actually, I say this. Uh, someone's going to get this duchy as well. Um... Uh, Calm down, girl, calm down. Prowess challenge. I gain a bunch of expertise or I become wounded. Or I die for stable ground or safe than story. I lose prestige and I gain a bunch of stress because I'm brave. Um. I mean. I mean. The benefits are very good. And being wounded would not be the worst thing because if I die at this point. At this point, this character has been alive for a long time. Christophoros has done a long time. So he's he's going to reflect on his life and be like, I can calm this horse down. On glamorous display. And I became wounded. That was uh, unfortunate. Apparently falling face first because I have a nice scar that showed up on my face. But that's okay. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, we're about to get the Marshall perk. We're about to get strategist. So that's going to be very interesting. Not useful, because we're not fighting any wars. Though I say this, but we're about to go fight one. Uh, in five months. In five months, the Duchess of Ephesus will have the visit of our armies. For our rightful claim. That is currently not rightful, but about to become rightful. Faction created. Let's go have a look at these factions. Oh, I can get a Marshal perk. Let's go become a strategist. All right. This makes me uh, enemy fatal casualties. I am much more lethal now. Let's, uh... What was I gonna do with this? Oh, you're an upset vassal, but you're not very upset, because you, uh... Yeah, you're, you're chill with that. You're very chill with that. You adore me. Received county plus... Uh, okay, that's gonna last for quite some time. So he's happy about that for a while, but he's about to become... Uh, Oh, father plus 50 also helps a lot. I can be as mean as I want to him, and he'll be... I'm kind of okay about it for a while. Um, I can create men-at-arm regiments. I have the money, too. Well, I'm not going to have the money for long at this point. Um, Because I'm going to lose... Um, I'm going to lose precious... Uh, precious money getting my claim. So I have to keep that in mind. But I'd like to build two more man at arm regiments. And maybe upgrade my uh, light footman into something that's more useful. Can I... Well, I can increase them... I can increase their size. Well, that's interesting. That is very interesting. They counter heavy infantry, but... Um... I don't know about that. I definitely want, um, I'm thinking Light Horsemen. Because Light Horsemen are very good at killing things. And they counter Archers, which are apparently some of the most powerful ones that we can get. Um, otherwise, the Pikemen are interesting at countering Cavalry. Oh, we can get our claim. See it done. Okay. I have died. What? No, not yet. I just got my claim. I died from my wound. Ah, uh, okay. Continuous despot Trifon. We have finally died for the very first time. Do I have the claim? I don't even have the claim. That that's like the biggest waste of money I have ever seen. Council. Uh, my wife is right here. She doesn't adore me very much. Uh, Mayor Ioannis oh, is my rival. My spy master is my rival. Stop being my rival. Seriously. Um, go and fabricate my claim on Chania, because the plan is still the same. Except now my uh, brother, he wants to see it on the council, but he has terrible stats, so he will not get that. 
How is the Byzantine Emperor's opinion? Okay, he kind of likes us. If he kind of likes us, we can take time to work on the rest of our vassals. We gotta sway all of them. I have been overwhelmed by stress. What? I... I... I guess swaying... Oh crap, yep. Swaying has caused me stress. Oh damn, Shy is terrible. Um, I gain a trait reclusive, I lose a friend. Um, I convert to Polishianism. <laughs> um, huh. Okay, no, I don't want to gain... I, I, I don't... I don't want... Okay. Yeah, I will bite my lip and try to stay focused. It's actually really bad that I cannot sway people. That's actually really, really bad. Okay, I need to pick a lifestyle focus. Um, you have such high stewardship that I feel like I have to take stewardship. You're also very good at it. Uh, fine, I'll take stewardship with a wealth focus. I will drown in money. That is so not Spartan, but oh well, I will drown in money. My patriarch does not endorse you, but we're working on that because we started the sway scheme. My army size shrank. You're okay with me. You're not... Uh... I've gained a level of devotion. I'm okay with that. Um, okay, so I cannot sway people, so shy is really bad. Also, now that I think about it, I'm gonna use my money. I can extort subjects. Uh, I have it as my domain. Um, uh, now where are my loyal subjects? Um, I cannot hold a feast or call for a hunt. Um, I need a bunch of dread. Lose prestige. Um, uh, extorted courtier gives me courtier opinion. Um, yeah, I'll take the money because I really need to call for a hunt. Uh, sound the horn. Additional taxes kicked in, so that's gonna be very nice for kicking a feast very soon. We have simple stone quarries that finished in Mistra. Nice for the money. Hunt rumors. I can get a bunch of prestige, or I can learn Theocrasio's secret. Hmm. Wait a minute. Also, am I? I am married. I have no children. My wife is uh, kind of old at this point. I think it's unlikely that I'll gain. Uh, it's unlikely that I'll gain children before it's too late. I can have seven counties. Who's my heir? Prince Dionysos of Sparta. Who is uh, this guy? And he has daughters. He has a bunch of daughters. That is very bad. Um. Hmm. Can I not, uh, pick this guy, make it metrilineal? I mean, that's about the best I can do. Um, I don't know about that, because if I remove metrilineal, um... Oh wow, intimidated by you plus 75. Very nice. But no, um. Hmm. No time for chit chat. I'm getting that stag. Let's get prestige. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem if my, um. If my, uh, brother here decides to matrimary. I have to get rid of my wife, I think. Does she provide me any alliances? She does not. I return home invigorated. Very nice. Now. Can I hold a feast? I am missing some gold to hold a feast. Okay, can I divorce her? 
Can I murder her? I gain stress because I'm honest, so I cannot murder her. I cannot do anything. Uh, can I demand conversion? She will accept, so that's gonna help. I didn't even realize she wasn't the right religion. Um... Request divorce. The Pope will not accept because he likes her. I have virtuous trait and she has virtuous traits. So that is not... Um, it's not going to be easy. Okay. I'm 35 myself. Aspiring Blade Master, but Midas touched. It's so, so incredible. I'm going to drown in the Monies. Okay. Um... I just need to reduce my stress. Lower. Also, fertility being down is bad. I didn't realize I had this much stress. Still need to sway this bishop. Extorted courtiers actually affects him. Oh, that's unfortunate. It affects uh, everyone at court. Oh, except this guy. This guy doesn't care that I extorted my courtiers. Oh, because he's a mayor. He's not a courtier. That makes sense. This guy is a courtier as well. Mayors are fine. My do is fine. Can I, um... Can I give my brother a meaningful job? I can't. I could give him steward. That's his only redeeming quality. But he's not, uh... He's not adequate as a spy master to replace that guy. Orthodoxy's fervor goes up and Boril gains prestige. Congratulations, Boril. I don't even know who you are, but... Let's get more virtuous bishops, clearly. Gotta fix the fate. Uh, Kingdom of Wallachia is still apparently a tank, but it's no longer in Wallachia. Uh, Betrothed can marry. Who is... Uh, who is she? Eugenia is my niece. It shall be a matrilineal marriage. Who set that up? That is not happening. That is not happening. Who the hell? No, 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 no. Um. She will not accept to join the court. Who is this? Uh... What is going on? Where is she actually right now? She's in uh, Helena Pontus. Where the hell is that? I don't even know where she is right now. But apparently, I can I can block the betrothal as long as that happens, because I don't want my niece to marry some doofus. That is just not happening. My sister and friend. Oh wait, also your oh oh, oh. too old for children. Matry married as it should be. Um, she's uh, she's getting on with the years, and still you still have no son. That's a problem. That's a very big problem. We still have uh, who is this guy? Prince Constantios of the Byzantine Empire, heir to the Byzantine Empire, and he's my half brother. Is he in line for? Uh, no, he's in line for Trace. Where does he sit in the... Uh, where does he sit in the line of inheritance for my titles? If I look at the Duchy of Salerno... Um, his line of succession is his three daughters and then me. Can I go further? Claimants 9, that's not, uh... That's not, he's not in that list. He is clearly of my dynasty. He is the heir to the Byzantine Empire? So my dynasty is about to get on the Byzantine throne. If nothing changes. Is it because, no, it is his... Wait a minute. How are you... How is my... Is Macedon my... No, Man Macedon is not my dynasty. Okay. I got confused. Maniatis is my dynasty. Okay. Okay, we're good. Alright. I have extorted courtiers for about 10 years. That's gonna... That's gonna get over it. 
Because now we're about to hold a feast. In 10 gold, we're holding a feast. And it's going to smooth things over. We're going to use my extorted money to smooth things over. But also to reduce my stress. <laughs> That's the plan. That is the plan. Um... Yeah, one more month, and then we hold ourselves a nice and grandiose feast. Fit for the king of Sparta. Um, I have my seven Hitaria, so I'm good. I clearly need more money, though. Let us hold a grandiose feast. I will not lose stress since I am shy. Oh, that's a waste of a feast, then. Um... What is this? The Lost Tome contains a great wealth of knowledge. It was meaning an old ledger. That's a learning challenge. Or I can... Oh, we can gain money. Let's get money. Okay, if I will not lose stress since I'm shy, there, that's a waste of money. Can I go on a pilgrimage? Um, Prepare for the journey. Um... The church is in Constantinople. It is time to depart. Yes. Excellent. Hopefully the pilgrimage reduces my stress. Hopefully going in an adventure reduces my stress. We'll see. Right now money is still good. I have issues. Low country control in Achaia. In, okay. Uh, I can get lost for five years. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not... Eh, I swear it's just a little farther in that direction. Let's get lost. Maybe I'll, you know, die from getting lost. And then uh, I can play as my brother. That would... Uh, that would solve a couple of things. It would allow me to matrimary all the kids. Oh, he got a son. He got a son. The arrival. I have walked the holy path. Gain the Street Pilgrim. Excellent. Did not reduce my stress. My brother Constantios died. I have gained a bunch of stress. Brother slain in battle. Niece released. Wait a minute. What is going on? Who just died? Oh, it was the heir to the Byzantine Empire that just died. Of course. Of course. I got excited there and then nope. He was my half-brother. He was not a member of my house, though. Which makes sense. He got, uh, yeah, he got, uh... He got stabbed well and done. That's unfortunate. Also, the fact it raised my stress is, uh, really bad. I need to reduce my stress somehow. It is good to be home. Pilgrimage ends. Okay. But I still got lost for five years. We'll see if that, uh does anything. Tryphon is a great steward, but uh, realm fragmentation, not ideal, and his inability to produce children with Despotisa Marguerite of Sparta has been uh, quite unfortunate. Task finish. Oh, hey, that means you can... Uh, where is their low country control? Not endorsed by my patriarch, that's unfortunate. Low country control in Achaia. It is uh, right here. The county control is 77. It's not so low, but it is low. And the other ones are at 100. Yeah, go and uh, work some magic. Give me some county control. Just clamp down. I can ask my head of fate for gold. Yeah, okay. Let's get ourselves some money. I can lawfully imprison Eusebia. Who the hell is she? I don't really care about that. I don't know why I can do that, but hey. I can negotiate an alliance with Count. I gain stress if I do that. Ah. Man, being shy is the worst. Praise St. Matthew. He comes a tax refund. Exchanged piety for gold. But now we have money to build our man at arms, and that's what we were after. And now our man at arms. We're gonna get some nice horsemen for sure. Did I not? There we go. 
And then we're going to create... Um, I want to say armored footmen or maybe archers. Because pikemen counter horses, which is useful. But... I mean, if I'm not fighting things with horses, it's not so great. The horseman counters archers, which could happen. And the bowman counters skirmishers, which is a likely thing to run into. Hmm. And the armored footmen counter spearmen, which are these guys, which I'm not necessarily that likely to run into. They have some pretty good stats, though. Hmm. Where's the Lightfoot men? Yeah, Lightfoot men are kinda crappy. And the Bowmen are, um... Hmm. The Bowmen are tempting. They counter skirmishers, which are probably the most likely build early on when there's not much money to go around. And the uh, light horsemen would counter the enemy horses. And what counters the horses? The pikemen. Which, I mean, I'm not likely to run into that, I don't think. So I'm gonna... The thing is, the horses do so much damage. What are these stats? Damage, toughness, pursuit, and they screen. Yeah, 3020 is very good. Pretty sure these guys are gonna become like the main reason I win battles. Should I, just, should I just build a second stack of horses? Although horses are bad in hills and mountains, and we have a lot of those. We have a lot of hills and mountains in Sparta. So we're gonna want troops that are good in hills and mountains. Light footmen are good in here, pikemen in hills, mountains, and desert mountains. So maybe pikemen? Because I'm gonna have... Uh, I'm gonna have some really bad time in plains and drylands, yeah. Horse horse is actually not so good for the terrain I'm in. Slight regret right now. Um Bowmen though are good in hills. Um Hmm. These guys are not so useful in uh, in our terrain either. If I wanna maximize my terrain, I feel like the pikemen might be better. The armored footmen have no terrain effect, which is just, you know, casual good. Um, yeah, I think armored footmen would uh, also protect our horses, essentially. Yeah. And they're, though the thing is, the armored footmen are weak to light footmen. Which is bad right now. Now we're going to go for bowmen. We're just going to go for bowmen because they're uh, going to be good in hills. And hopefully that's good enough for us. Is that hills or mountains, though? If I look at terrain mountains, with plains down here in the corner, we have hills up here that has plains, hills. Okay, so there's going to be terrains where my horses shine, but there's a lot of hills and mountains. I wonder why archers are good in hills but not mountains. That feels like a weird oversight. Um, Man, I'm torn. I am really torn. I don't know what kind of man at arm regiment I want to complement my um, my stacks here. Because the armored footmen feel like the ones that are most versatile, but being weak to the cheapest unit in the game feels like a severe drawback. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with my gut. I'm gonna go with bowmen. There we go. All right, let's keep going. We've swayed our uh, we've swayed our bishop, which will therefore help with our uh, situation. I cannot sway anyone. Liege one war, that's good. I'm okay with my liege winning wars. I'm not okay with him losing wars, but I'm okay with him winning. Um, is my hair shy? Yeah, I cannot have, uh, I cannot have shy rulers. Shy is, uh, not great. 
I will keep that in mind and never pick shy again for my hairs if I can help it. Honest. Ambitious is good, though. Oh, he gains a lot more stress as a result. Hmm. Ambition is good, but shyness and honesty... Not a good combo. But now our troop quality is pretty good. Um, I think Russell just, I think. Little Firebrand, is our Militios. Uh, climbed up Hippatia's window, he's my nephew, Judic Militios. What? Hmm. Made four dictatory advances. Interesting. Let's keep that in mind. And by that I mean, let's just forget it, because I don't really care about my niece so much. I have a dead half-sister. How did she die? During a siege. Oh. Well, poor her. Um, you are... Someone else entirely. You don't have claims on my stuff, as it should be. Accused of claim fabrication. I mean, it's not a wrong accusation, but still, damn it. Uh, has a claim on the county of Zach Lumia. I have a guest with that claim. That's that's nice. I want uh, to go after Ephesus right now, if it's still possible. Yeah, she's still weak. She's still horribly, horribly weak to being Spartan. So I'm going to go Spartan her. That's the plan. That is the plan in 16 months. But I've also reached a point where I will call the stream. So for now, I'll thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time where our expansion must happen. Now that we have finally become Trifon of Sparta. Who is actually terrible for his shyness. See you guys next time.